What is going on, you two people? Northeast Ohio Cards and Comics here. For a PSA September customer update? And they dropped prices? What? Uh, like, comment, subscribe, YouTube stuff down below. Uh, just got home from work, just popped online, and saw this pop up. Uh, this is from their old... Uh, from Steve Sloan, September customer update. There's some nonsense in here about game use bat pop report and some set registry award winners. But what we care about are these first two paragraphs right here. Uh, essentially, they are grading 35,000 cards a day, which we kind of knew that already from Gem Rate's wonderful data that he provides us on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. And that has allowed them to work through a lot of the backlog. Uh, they say here, 90% uh, of their day, uh, committing over 90% of our daily capacity to the backlog, that still frees them up to accept more submissions, which means express level submissions, 200 to $150 a card. And their expectations are, where is it at? Express level order, comproving customers can expect to get express orders back within 30 days moving forward. So one month turnaround time, at $150 a card. Uh, it also notes they hope to bring back regular service tier sometime in Q4, uh, but that will be contingent on ability to expand, integrate, yada, 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 yada. Uh, the other thing that they note is, where is it at? Uh, they mention in here, uh, oh, What's more, any pending express orders will be honored with this new price reduction as well. Now, I don't know what pending means. I'm assuming that means anything in the queue or just orders that have not been sent in yet. I don't know. So if you have express orders out there, uh, you might want to dig into that on your own. I don't have anything pending with them. So I don't know if pending means... Like you have the the paperwork all printed out and everything, or it's in transit to them and it hasn't been accepted by them. It's one fifty a card, or if that means anything sitting in one of their seventeen steps uh, will end up clearing at one fifty a card. I'm guessing the latter, but once again, I do not know for sure. So very interesting. You know, SGC has done this once where they increase prices and then decrease prices. This is the first time we've seen PSA have a price decrease. Like this is uncharted waters. A uh, couple things. I had originally predicted that regular service comes back at $100 a card. I still feel pretty good about that prediction. And it may even be slightly cheaper than that. If Express is 150, my gut said, or when Express was 200, I was saying regular would be 100. With Express being 150, is regular still 100 when it comes back? Maybe. Does it come back at 75? I think 75 might be more likely now. The other thing I think, originally, just within two weeks ago, within the last couple of weeks, I had said, I think regular comes back October 1st. I don't think that happens now. Uh, I think this price decrease is a way for them to take in some more orders without opening the floodgates and buying themselves a little bit more time before they have to bring regular back. They do say regular in Q4, so I do think we see it soon, but originally I was thinking early October, but I think this is a band-aid to kind of help bridge that gap. Uh, and I think this is a combination of two things. One, they probably want to start picking up a lot of this newer product that's coming out. New football cards are coming out. New basketball cards are coming out. They want to try to steal some of that business back on some of that higher mid-tier I'm going to say like mid-tier. High-end was already going to them for the most part. But mid-tier services or mid-tier cards to go back their way instead of going SGC's or HGA's way. Um, I don't really know anyone that's submitting to Beckett right now. So they're kind of a non-starter. And CSG's um, has their own issues in regards to massive backlogs. So uh, it says they're still dedicating 90% of their staff to working through the backlog. That's good because there's a lot of people still waiting on cards. Uh, but very interesting to see a price decrease. Once again, this is not something that we see. I will be curious how this changes the math for people. Because uh, once again, we, we talk about it all the time. Uh, deciding 
how to grade a card and where to grade a card with is essentially a math problem. Uh, you know, you look at the price that you're into the card for, you look at the cost of grade, and then look to see what a nine, a nine, five, and a 10 sell for, depending on which grading company you're going with. Uh, if you could break even on the nine, I would send it to PSA because you're probably gonna make a massive profit on the 10. So to me, it's worth the dice roll. If you would lose your butt on a nine, look at other options. And there's a lot of things in the middle that get kind of weird where, you know, in a 10, you can maybe eke out a profit, but with other companies, you know, maybe a nine you lose, how much do you lose? Is it worth the risk? Once again, you need to sit down and do the math and run the numbers for yourself. So at $150 a card with what is they're saying is about a 30 day turnaround time. Does that move the needle for you in regards to where you would submit cards to? Uh, you know, 200 to 150 still sounds like a lot of money, but 50 bucks a card is a lot to take off. Uh, you know, you could get, uh, what would that be? Uh, four cards at $600 instead of three cards at $600. So you're getting an entire extra card graded for free under the new math. Um, I have a feeling a lot of people will take advantage of this that have been sitting on borderline cards. That extra 50 bucks can make a difference on whether you break even on a nine or not. You know, if a nine sells for around 150 to 165, 175-ish, you might not want to send it at $200 a card, but at $150 a card for the chance to hit the 10, a lot of people will because whether we like it or not, PSA still demands the highest premium on the secondary market, uh, not factoring in, you know, the unicorns like black labels and gold labels and those shenanigans that if you're chasing, if you're submitting, trying to get one of those, you're kind of a fool because you're probably not going to get one. Uh, you're, you're, you're chasing the dragon there. So does this change the needle for you at all? Is there cards that you were sitting on that you're like, you know what, at 150, this now makes sense. Uh, let me go ahead and send this. Or does this change nothing? You're already going to send cards at $200 a card. And now you just have an extra 50 bucks in margin to play with uh, when you submit. But interesting move, price decrease. You know, a lot of people say, oh, we'll never see a price decrease on this. I like the expectations it sets going forward. 150 at Express and then 50, you know, that's half of Super Express, which is 300. So can we assume $75 for regular when it comes back? And then, you know, what does economy look like? 30 to 35, you know? Maybe 40. Does economy still exist? I don't know. Maybe economy doesn't exist anymore and it just goes straight to bulk at like $20 a card. But for those saying that you would never see PSA have $20 and $30 grading levels, I think this moves the needle on that. Once again, if you're moving express down to 150 and then you're taking it down the next notch to regular at 75 to 100 Below that, you have economy, and then below that, you have bulk. Once again, we might not see bulk service for another year till that reopens back up again. To me, this shines a little bit of light on what their pricing strategy is going to be moving forward. I have been pretty adamant that I think we see around 20-ish dollars a card for bulk when it comes back. Because um, I do think that that's a price point that they want to get back to because they understand the set registry value. Uh, that there are people that still want to grade lower end stuff for set registry purposes. And maybe they even come back with a different tier that's like, that's cheaper for like really off the beaten road stuff. Like it does not have a ton of value and it's a year plus till you get it back or something like that. Like it's basically just a, Hey, I want to slab these GI Joe cards. Cause I want to go for the set registry on GI Joe or whatever. You know what I mean? Some, you know, 93 Don Russ, whatever. There's some, you know, people collect all sorts of different things, put sets together for all sorts of different things. So the price drop to 150 is encouraging. Uh, I do think this is going to shake some more cards loose heading their way. Uh, and I do think you're trying to be aggressive on that to try to get ahead of uh, the other companies gaining a little bit of market share on them. You know, you are seeing more select football, select basketball in SGC slabs. So I'm sure that they want to steal a little bit of that back uh, just to be like, hey, don't forget we're here. Um, and we still command this, the highest value on the secondary market. So uh, completely out of the blue, completely random. Didn't expect this one today. I was actually going to do a PSA video for tomorrow, but this will probably just be in lieu of it. I'll just drop this on Thursday afternoon. So probably no video again tomorrow morning. Uh, but I was going to talk about PSA and kind of why 
So this video will probably come next week. I'll give you a spoilery look ahead. Um, I, I kind of want to sit down and kind of talk about why I think PSA is the dominant player when it comes to secondary market sales, why they're talked about the most, all that sort of stuff. So spoilers for an upcoming video. Uh, I was going to be tomorrow's, but I'll hold that off until early next week. Not sure what we're doing for Saturday yet. Sunday will be the normal week in review. Maybe we'll just do a live stream Saturday morning or something. Uh, and then Marvel Monday, and then off into next week we go. Uh, have a happy opening day of the NFL season if you're watching this before the game on Thursday night. Uh, but like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.